quick problem on electron energy levels. We have here an electron in the ground state, okay, and it's uh, been excited by an electron, uh, by a photon, a packet of energy, packet of light, which has exactly the right amount of energy, a discrete amount of energy, enough to excite it up to the 0.85 electron volts level. It's not ionized, it's not free to roam, but we've excited the electron enough. Now it wants to drop back down, and as it does so, it's going to emit a photon every time. So a photon will be given off every time it drops down an energy level. A photon of a certain frequency. Now Planck's equation, energy equals Planck's constant times frequency, is what we're going to use to figure out the frequency of these two photons. So for this first one here, we know that it's dropped down an energy level, so using a little bit of just simple arithmetic, the difference between these two is 2.55 electron volts. Now, we need to figure, we can't use this in an equation, electron volts aren't much good in this equation. We, need to, we know that energy is measured in joules, so we need to convert this into joules. So in order to convert this into joules, we times it by the charge on an electron. So, E equals HF, we know that Planck's constant is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34. And the energy is going to work out as the number of electron volts times the charge on an electron. So that's 2.55 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. Okay? So this number divided by this number should give us the frequency. So, get your calculator out. 2.55 times 1.6 to the power of minus 19 will give you 4.08 times 10 to the minus 19. You divide that by Planck's constant, 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34, divided by 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34, and this gives us a bloody big number there, which uh, you should be able to see now. Uh, we can use the engineering function to get it into some decent units. This will give us a frequency that corresponds to 615 terahertz. Okay, so at this level here, the frequency is equal to 615 terahertz, or tera standing for times 10 to the 12. We do exactly the same thing to work out this energy level here, this frequency here. So the difference here, as it drops from 3.4 uh, down to 13.4, uh, sorry, 13.6, 13.6, take away 3.4, so we've lost 10.2 electron volts. Exactly the same process. We can't use this because it's not in joules, so we need to times, uh, using E equals HF, we need to figure this in joules, so we times 10.2 electron volts, by the charge on an electron, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. Uh, what comes next? And we t uh, that equals Planck's constant times F. Now we know Planck's constant, so F is equal to this number divided by Planck's constant. So 10.2 times the charge on an electron. This gives us 1.632 times 10 to the minus 18 joules. Divided by H, 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34. And we use the engineering function to get it into some units that we don't mind working with. There we go. That gives us 2,461 uh, 2, terahertz, which is a phenomenally high frequency here. Okay, so there we've used electron volts. We've also had to use the uh, Planck's equation to work out the frequency of those two photons that are emitted. Thank you.